2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS Sedan Review, EQ over IQ. Touted by Mercedes as the S-Class of EVs, the Mercedes EQS sedan is the latest in a growing number of electric cars from the premium automaker and an important one if it's to stamp its mark on the luxury EV segment. Traditionally, car tech has always trickled down from top spec models, and the same will be true for the latest swathe of EVs. While genuinely affordable EVs for the masses will arrive later, those like the EQS will lay the groundwork for those to come, and the technology we see in these uppermost echelons will be commonplace in those layman's cars in a decade's time. Based on a new modular electric architecture that also underpins the EQS SUV and smaller EQE sedan and SUV, the EQS is available in three variants for 2023, from 450 plus to 584 Matic, with the 454 Matic middle child in between. We review the Mercedes AMG EQS separately for those seeking electric performance. In standard form, outputs range from 329 horsepower in single motor RWD form to 516 horsepower in range topping dual motor guys, with as much as 631 lbft of torque on offer. These are numbers that fall shy of the Mercedes EQS sedan's natural competitors like the Lucid Air and Tesla Model S or the all-new BMW i7. But perhaps there's more to it than mere numbers. 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan changes, what's the difference versus the 2022 EQS sedan? The most significant change for the US model is the addition of the EQS 454 Matic model. This base-level dual-motor AWD variant benefits from 355 horsepower and 590 lbft and a 340 mile EPA range estimate. Other than that, there are minor changes such as the addition of optional 20-inch AMG 5-spoke wheels and an improved rear seat cushion and upholstered pillows on the pinnacle subtrim. Pros and Cons Impressive range estimates compared to German rivals. No lack of power and performance. Technologically advanced testbed. High levels of digitalization. Range and performance fall short of class leaders. Confuses technology for luxury with mixed results. Unresolved ride and handling dynamics. 2023 Mercedes EQS sedan handling and driving impressions. Anyone who knows about cars will tell you that the Mercedes-Benz S-Class is one of the smoothest and most refined cars on the road, period. That's why it's perhaps disappointing that a car labeled by Mercedes as the S-Class of EVs has such an unresolved suspension setup. The self-leveling multi-link air suspension at each corner could easily isolate you from the road, but seems overcome by its weight, resulting in a bouncy ride quality and an unnerving feeling under braking and sudden direction changes. Its brakes also lack feel and showcase just how heavy the EQS is. Simply put, others in this segment do it better. Not without its redeeming traits, the EQS sedan features rear axle steering, which can operate up to 10 degrees, reducing its turning circle in tight spots. From a power perspective, Mercedes has stayed away from the power wars waged by Lucid and Tesla but is not lacking by any margin. The sole RWD option is the EQS 450 Plus with 329 horsepower and 417 lbft, capable of 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds, while the range-topping EQS 584 Matic has two motors, all-wheel drive, 516 horsepower, and 631 lbft, resulting in a 60 miles per hour dash of 4.1 seconds. The new EQS 454 Matic splits the difference at 5.3 and is perhaps the sweet spot with 355 horsepower and 590 lbft. Verdict, is the 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan a good car? The S-Class was once an automotive benchmark of excellence that others followed, and the EQS should have been the same. On paper, one can argue it lives up to this promise, with the hyperscreen dashboard, advanced rear axle steering, and a plethora of other tech. But the reality is that the EQS sedan is a follower rather than a leader, doing nothing that can be described as class leading. It doesn't chase big numbers or massive performance, which is perfectly fine, but it isn't the final word in space and packaging either, lacking the frunk of its rivals and not maintaining the cavernous back seat of the S-Class. 
The 56-inch hyperscreen, while glitzy, is a magnet for fingerprints and glare and confuses technology for luxury, the two are not the same. But where the EQS loses out most is in the way it drives, with odd brake feel and suspension that lacks Mercedes' usual composure. It's by no means a bad car, but in a segment where we expect the best or nothing from Mercedes, this isn't the former. 2023 EQS Sedan Exterior Instead of removing the grille from the S-Class's design, Mercedes created a new one-bow design language for the EQS in which a single curve can be traced from front to rear with minor variation. We'll leave it to you to decide whether it works or whether it looks like a generic EV. Flanking either side of the black panel grille with an integrated star design are LED headlights with adaptive high beam assist. Other exterior features include a panoramic sunroof on all models, LED taillights with a full-width light bar, and flush-mounted door handles. The 450-badged trims ride on standard 20-inch alloys, while the EQS 580 ships with 21-inch wheels courtesy of the standard AMG line package. This specification, which is optional on other trims, adds more aggressive front and rear bumpers to accompany the larger wheels. Dimensions just like its IC sibling, the EQS sedan is a large car and is classified as an electric full-size luxury liftback. The EQS sedan measures 205.4 inches in length and is 83.7 inches wide, including wing mirrors. It stands 59.5 inches tall. The new electric modular architecture underpinning it has a wheelbase of 126.4 inches in this incarnation. While the battery is the same on all three trims, minimizing variance in curb weight, the single and dual motor powertrains do have an impact, with the former tipping the scales at 5,597 pounds while the EQS 584MATIC has a claimed curb weight of 5,888 pounds. Exterior Colors 10 colors are available for the Mercedes EQS sedan. Eight of these are no-cost options and include staples like polar white, obsidian black, and onyx black, while various blues, nautical blue and twilight blue metallics, and gray slash silvers, graphite gray and cirrus silver, are also on the table. Three exclusive manufacturer colors are available, with $1,750 earning you the choice between cardinal red metallic and diamond white metallic, while selenite gray magno commands $3,250. 2023 EQS Sedan Interior If the EQS Sedan is to live up to its billing as an electric S-Class, then it needs an abundance of refinement, luxury, and space. It falls short on the latter, particularly in the rear seats, but it's still a spacious sedan. Technology is abundant, but the much-spoken-about hyperscreen is only standard on the EQS 580, with lesser trims making do with two traditional screens for infotainment and instrumentation. We'd argue that the hyperscreen detracts from the feeling of luxury and that tech does not equal luxury, but time will tell whether this is truly the case. However, the materials all feel up to scratch, and the fit and finish speaks to Mercedes' status as a legacy manufacturer compared to the quality levels seen in newer upstarts proclaiming to compete in the same category. Seating and Interior Space The 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan seats five adults across two rows. Despite being billed as a full-size luxury sedan, the rear seat legroom doesn't let you stretch out fully. While a six-footer will have enough space, the 38 inches of headroom is tight for anyone taller, and the undisclosed legroom is only fine, not stellar. Those in front are not found wanting, however, with 40.4 inches of headroom and 41.7 inches of legroom. 12-way power-adjustable front seats have both heating and ventilation as standard and three-position memory to account for multiple driver profiles. Optionally, you can spec front sport seats, but we'd steer clear and rather spec the multi-contour massage seats for the best experience. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.